Hi, I'm Kate Morton and this is my life in books. My very first favourite book and the book that actually turned me into a reader was The Enchanted Wood by Enid Blyton. I absolutely loved it. Uh, my mum gave me a copy and I used to climb into a tree with it and find the perfect bough and I would just disappear inside that book like going down the rabbit hole and I completely lived with those children, you know, climbing the magic faraway tree and disappearing into the world at the top of the tree. A book that meant an enormous amount to me was Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And that's not just because of the incredible first line, last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again, but because it's a book in which the house is a character. And I have such a preoccupation with houses that I immediately bonded with the idea of this, this house that has a pervasive atmosphere that infects the entire book. Um, and it's something that as a writer I have continued to um, um, give vent to my love for houses as characters. I have an insatiable interest in people, so I love to read um, books about you know other people's lives. And one of my favourites that I read quite recently was um, the biography of Dickens by Simon Callow, and it's such an incredible book because it's written by you know an incredible storyteller about one of the world's most incredible storytellers. I also love the Victorian period, and it really was like disappearing into the world of Victorian London and walking in the footsteps. Of of Dickens, who was um, a, a big walker, by the way. Um, it's an incredible book and it's deeply affectionate um, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. I really love poetry and one of my favourite poets is T.S. Eliot, um, probably because when I was growing up um, I took speech and drama lessons from a couple who lived on Tambourine Mountain um, near where I grew up. and. Um, they introduced me to his poems. One in particular is Rhapsody on a Windy Night, which I absolutely love. I remember the, the thrill of learning it by heart, and I think that was what um, really introduced me to the, the idea of, I, I guess, poetry as spoken language, and the, the way um, the rhythm works and the way words um, sound when they're spoken. Um, also, of course, the theme of um, time and timelessness and objects through time, which of course is one of my um, obsessions. One of my first favourite writers was Barbara Vine. Uh, when I was growing up, my mum used to try and get me to read Ruth Rendell, and I would always say, oh, as if I want to read the same person that my mum is reading. And then one day I went into a bookstore and I was looking at the, the table and I was going to buy a book and I picked one up and I bought it and read it and I absolutely loved it. And I went to my mum and I pressed it on her and said, Mum, I've read this incredible book by this author called Barbara Vine who is, of course, the nom de plume for Ruth Rendell. And my mother was allowed to feel, you know, a, quite a self-satisfied moment then. But I love Barbara Vine's books. She was the first person who introduced me to the idea of the why done it rather than the who done it. And I'm, um, I love mystery stories, but I have such a character focus. And her books really do um, highlight that idea that character is fate. Um, and, you know, I absolutely adore them.